Welcome back everybody. We are here at Genesis South Bay with our 2023 GV70 2.5 Sports Prestige. We are going to take it on a test drive. We're going to look at our drive modes, our digital dash and more. Everything that comes with the car, I want to describe and make sure you get the feel of it through the video. All right, let's go. Here we are leaving the Genesis dealership. Let's see, as you can see up front, we have our digital display so you can see my left blind spot camera comes on when I put on my blinker so you'll see it on the opposite side too as well and this is on the sports prestige 2023 GV 70 this one that we're driving in is the 2.5 so right now we're driving in on eco so it's gonna feel a little bit slower than usual um, this is actually the best mode to get the most mileage and range in pretty much any vehicle that we have with this drive mode. Uh, a lot of people like this, you know, to save on gas, exactly, and for longer trips as well, too. Um, as we come up to the light, let's see. I'm actually gonna make a right over here. See my digital dash again right there for you. Let's see. And then we're actually going to switch to our comfort mode. So as you can see, you have different drive modes, no eco, comfort, sport, sport plus, and custom. So when you're in comfort, it's basically your normal drive mode. Um, you'll get the best fuel efficiency out of eco, comfort, and custom as well, depending on how you drive. Uh, comfort is just like it says, it's gonna be your smoothest ride. Um, everything, the wheel feel kind of, kind of tight, but comfortable. You see your chair will feel pretty comfortable too as well. It's just going to, sit nicely okay the drive right now feels very smooth uh, it's not going I'm not going any, I'm not going fast right now as you can see up the front I'm going right under 40 you can't really feel the bumpy road on the outside it stays very leveled very cool let's see as we go on this road right here I'm gonna change drive modes here we're gonna go to sport so right now what just happened is the seat just tightened up a little bit the car started making a little bit more noise. It's, it's, it just changed everything in the, within the engine. So now we're going a little bit faster, um, slightly touching the pedal um, and the car has great pickup. So just me barely touching it right now, going from comfort to sport, it already just started picking up and everything. So you hear the, you hear the noise start getting a little bit louder. So pay attention to that because when we get in a sport, sport plus, you're gonna definitely see a difference. So here again, also if you notice on the digital dash, when you change drive modes, it's gonna change colors. That's gonna let you know what mode you're in. So when you're in sport, you see it's this orange color right here. Um, as you can see, oh, because this vehicle is a sport vehicle, um, in this trim level, our seats are uh, Napa leather and actual, uh, they have mesh on it as well too. So in my chair right now, there's mesh here. It's gives you that sporty feel um, for pre preparation for speed actually. So I'm barely touching the pedal right now, but it's already going past 40, giving it the same kind of energy that I did going down that last street, actually. Let's see. So, and if you notice on the wheel, we do still have our lane keep assist, our driver's assist, um, smart cruise control all on this right side right here. Um, if I want, if I don't want to look at this select contact, I could just change this by clicking the pages button right here so you see our car in the lane as well. When we pass by here, I'm gonna go into Sport Plus, actually. Let's see. So we're going to, the way that I'm driving right now, uh, if you want, where I'm changing the drive modes is to my right, where my hand is right here. You just move this down or up and it'll go to each mode uh, for you. Let's see. Very easy, so just a nice little reach right here. Let's see. Now this car is definitely a favorite of mine just because it gives you a good mix of being able to you know speed, go a little bit faster if you're a driver that likes to speed but also be comfortable um, as i'm driving right now even in sport the car still just glides is one of my favorite features about the vehicle that it's just every ride is even if i'm not on comfort no matter what drive mode you're in is very smooth well balanced the car doesn't feel too heavy 
Uh, it feels very, actually feels perfect. It feels uh, lighter than a regular SUV vehicle too. Like I said, the pickup earlier is, is beautiful. Picks up very quickly. You have a lot of horsepower in this vehicle too as well. Let's see. Now I'm gonna change to sport mode in a little bit. Sport Plus actually, so that you can see the difference of it as well. Also, while we're driving, if you notice on the wheel, the left-hand side where my thumb is, this is where you mark your favorites, accept calls, control the volume. You can uh, set each mode, and you also have voice recognition right here, too, as well. Now, one thing I haven't pointed out yet is that right up top, I have the ventilated seats on. Uh, this feels great. Actually, with the mesh seating, it just feels really, really, really good, actually. So, I feel very secure in the seat i'm not sliding around but it's also very comfortable it's not hard seating at, at all which is a plus especially in a sporty kind of vehicle you know let's see okay so now we're going to switch over to sport plus so actually the vehicle got a little bit louder while i'm driving it and it picked up a lot faster than sport so right now i can hear the engine working you know i can feel the speed uh, the get up is very, very nice, very com comfortable. All right, let's see. Even when I let go of the pedal, you hear the engine relaxing. But yeah, this is going to be your, if you like to drive fast, it's going to be your vet best feature. Okay, I, I advise to test the difference between Sport and Sport Plus. This will really give you something to be excited about. And again, even if we're in a different drive mode, we're in Sport Plus and the vehicle is still very smooth. As we came to the light, uh, the light, we came to a stop. It's still, you know, making more noise because it's letting you know the, what, it's letting you know the horsepower and it just, you could just feel it. Right now the car is like, you can feel the, the, the strength of the engine as well. And now I just switched to custom. So we're gonna be on custom the way left. Uh, with custom, it's actually going to memorize how you drive. So, you know, it's going to control the suspensions. Your seating of your chair is going to be in the perfect seating for you. The way that you choose is going to, like I said, it's going to memorize it as well. Also, you can see the wheel's not as tight. It's very comfortable, very smooth. So, uh, that's a good mode where if you want to, if you're a slow driver, it's going to memorize your, your speed and everything and how you go and how you use your vehicle. It's going to give you the best performance out of that. If you're a fast driver, you'll still be able to use the drive fast with this one, and it'll actually accommodate the way that you drive. Let's see. As we're going, the noise stopped after from going from Sport Plus, so you don't hear the engine as much. Um, still very, very smooth ride. Let's see. We're gonna make a right right here. Let's see. Again, also notice that the digital dash turned blue when I went into a different mode, went into the custom mode right here. It also says on the right side right here that it's on custom as well. So again, we just went through a little dip and it still feels very smooth, very level. Uh, you don't hear a lot of noise, there's no shaking, anything of that sort. It's such a comfortable dri drive. You're just gliding on the road right now on custom. So it's pretty similar to comfort, but then again, like I said, it memorizes how you drive. So it's gonna give you the best performance to accommodate your drive style. Again, if you want to get the best out of it, you can go back to comfort. And that's basically, again, your normal mode, your normal feature, and that's how you'll be able to glide and just enjoy the road, enjoy the drive. Great for long road trips as well. All right, so now I'm going to show the parking feature. Okay, so we have a 360 camera on this vehicle. So as you can see, everything's up here. You got the top view, so I call it the bird view right here. You also have a digital view of your car as well. You can see everything around, how accurate things are. Right here, you see to the left side, the handicap parking and everything. So we're actually gonna reverse. You have the back cameras, they're ready as well. Different views. So you have the top view, you have your side views as well too. And then you have your back camera view. So 
So as we go, this automatically comes on when you put on the reverse. Also your front cameras will too as well. So if I have to move forward, it will definitely turn on the front cameras and you'll see everything in the front as well. See how it just changed to the front camera right here. So you still get the same view, the side views right here, the top view, and then your front view as well. See? It's very easy to park this car, hard, very impossible to park terribly. So it's aware of your surroundings as a person having a 360 camera. Notice the quality as well too. It's not grainy, it's very, very clear. Okay, as I go back, you see the lines right here. So if I get too close, it's gonna start beeping. And you can see on the sensor right here, it's gonna start turning yellow, sensor here, and sensor there. And if I get too close, it's gonna start turning red. Okay, now that I'm here, I just press P, push that to park. The cameras go up after being, side, being pointed down and now we're at parked.